Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some Space Engineers. We have a new ship. It is fully built, I think. Unless I missed a spot, which I probably did. Shh, you didn't hear that. So this is Tugger 2, also known as Tugger Also. 2 2 2 2 2. So I've got it recharging. I kind of, that's why it's parked like this, is to hopefully provide some power to the solar cells. So the ones back here look like they're getting blocked somewhat, which is understandable, but these two at the front look like they're getting almost full values. And I'm thinking, should we have added like a little gravity generator in here? It seems silly to have a door and these stairs to walk up when we can't walk up them. I'm not sure. So right now it is charging and it is going to take some time for it to complete charge. So it still says fully recharged in one day. Currently have 8.23 kilowatt hours. And yeah, so we need can store a lot more. Current input 27. If we looked at our solars, I guess they're kind of low. Oh yeah, I don't remember what the max is, 120 I think. So the ones up front are getting not quite 100%, but enough. And then we could throw some uranium in there to supplement that. But for now, we'll leave it parked here, I guess, and let it recharge. I don't have too much time today, and actually I won't have time for the next week or so to record. So I figured I'd get you something out, even though I don't really have anything planned. So I thought we could pick away at stuff today, and maybe just talk about random things. Now oh, these blast doors, I'm still not sure. Are these hangar doors? Not to be confer confused with hangar, E-R, which is... <laughs> the way I spelt it, I think, the first time. A hanger for your clothes. No. Um, hanger doors. Um, the only thing I don't like about them, again, is this even number. And also, I don't think molar can fit through here if we keep them, because molar is quite high, and with the connector at the center part, pretty sure molar would rip off or get destroyed by this top one. So I'm probably going to leave them or take them off, and then we'll, we'll keep the piston doors for now, and we'll see. If there was different versions available... Like if you could have a one that had a two base, right? So it went down to here, and then it could extend out the same as a piston. So another four blocks. Or if we had odd number ones. But even with um, even numbers, we could do something a little interesting and have it like a tooth-like, right? If we drop this guy down one block, so he's down here. Hang on. Right, if we had him down here, for instance, so oh, I can't even do it. Ah, right there. Then he would go up only part way, and then the next one would be offset, so it'd be like a zipper kind of deal. So that might be interesting if we could do that, but we'd need them to be a lot bigger. So there are mods, I'm sure, that would allow for that. I was kind of hoping Keen themselves would provide us a bit more variety on that respect, but we might look at mods if it comes down to that, because, yeah, I think so. Okay, so our power room here, or our control room, I should say. thought maybe we could mess around with this a little bit. Oh, I gave you back all my steel plates. Totwing, I need you. That's a cool shot. Okay, um, filled up my inventory with stuff so we can work. So I'm not sure what to do here, really. So we're going to keep this as a mergeable thing so that we can raise it up, because I do think we're going to do that. So my thoughts here were we could either put some more glass right where I'm about to put this stuff. So we'd have another three by three section of glass. We'd have kind of a grid with the rotors in the middle or the edges. Alternatively, we could not do that and do try to bring in some scaffolding. I totally didn't prep my bar. <laughs> uh, you, maybe, maybe you, I don't know what we need. Probably just that one. And then we could create almost like a walkway. So instead of being this being ground level, it would be up one. Some people mentioned they thought these looked better recessed when I had it recessed down. So I was thinking this might give vets that kind of effect. So we could either... Oh, that's the wrong... Aha! We could do something like that and have a little walkway. So when you come in here, you're not actually on the floor. And the door would be somewhere here. And here we could actually maybe use a hangar door to provide entrance. And we could also make this our sealed area. So we could have oxygen in here and only in here. So we could create a little um, 
Oh, what's it called? Airlock. That's not it. Is it an airlock? A, two doors? <laughs> wow, brain, come on. So yeah, that's, a, that's an idea. And then we could, yeah, implement the oxygen and get it at least partially, give us one area that we can work with. Also in regards to the oxygen, I believe we have to hook up this guy to a conveyor system. So we'll probably do that from below, I guess. Maybe just we'll take out this piece of glass and we'll bring a conveyor either down and maybe just jet it into the wall or bring it all the way down or I'm not too sure. But yeah, that should provide us with the means of refilling oxygen. And as long as we have it hooked up to our conveyor system, I think that should be good and it will provide oxygen all over the place. Now, one of the issues with the oxygen, and a lot of you have said, is trying to retrofit your ships. So I took a look at Tortwing here, and I don't know where we could theoretically add one in. Um, let's just do that, and vertical offset will go really high. So if we look in Tortwing, and if we look at the oxygen thing itself, I figured we'd just put a tank on them, right? We don't need a generator. We could just give them a tank. And then whenever we hook up to the conveyor system via the connector, it would fill up, I would assume, from whatever tanks and storage we have on the station. It's kind of my thought. So if we look at it, it's it's quite big. It's got a big hatch and two small. So the two small line up with pretty much where the cockpit hatches are, I think. So you could put this like directly behind the cockpit. But that's where all of our other stuff is. And also, we don't have a way of connecting it if we did that. Because, well, let's go up here. I can show that better up here. Tortwing has a large cargo container. Ooh. So yeah, we could theoretically put it behind here and maybe rework some of this stuff or relocate some of this stuff. The sensors, the reactors, I don't know where. But yeah, here we go. We're in the large cargo. Large cargo only has three large doors. One's right here, one's right here, and one's over here. So if we were to put that generator, how could we hook it up, I guess, is my question. Um, maybe we could just, does it, I'm guessing it doesn't need the large hatch, right? So maybe we could just put it this way with a small hatch hooked into this little conveyor. And then there'd be a big hatch over here that we'd then have to connect to something. Or then run another small tube around and up. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do touring if we even can without overhauling. So we'll see. What I would really like, actually, and maybe we'll get some kind of mechanic like this with compound blocks. But if you could pick and choose the conveyor accesses, so instead of being forced upon this large, oops, I can't see the hatches anymore, the large cargo, right, that has three, three big, three small, and you're, you just have to orientate it however you want. And again, mods, you could just get a mod that has the doors you want, but it would be nice to have just that added flexibility built into the game. So like a cargo container itself could just be blank with no hatch, basically, and you'd add in the hatches afterwards. You could add a large hatch to a face, or two small, or three small, or four small, or whatever little templates may be available. I don't know if that's something that could be done with compound blocks, but that might be interesting. So yeah, if we had an airlock, yeah, I guess that's what it's called. My brain caught up. It's an airlock. So if we had an airlock here, I don't know about having this three, or one wide, maybe we should bring this pattern up as well and the reason I've kind of left off on a lot of the detail work like our walkways is actually because of compound blocks I kind of want to see what they they will provide before I kind of go ahead and continue trying working with that because that will most likely change what we can do drastically um, so we would want glass I guess I did not prep uh, my inventory for glass. Let's go check this glass to see what side it is. It is invert. Okay. Thank you. So I want that one. And we'll grab some girders. Oop. Girder. Uh, 20? Sure. 20 of everything. Alright, so now we can do our proper walkway. And we'll figure out how to do this little attachment here later. So if we did this, let's just, let's think out loud here. So I think I do want this to be kind of a sphere of some kind, or maybe a diamond shape. But essentially somewhere here it should start sloping up, and then it'll go up, and then it'll probably slope back in and around. Or maybe it'd be kind of like a disc 
a disc shape. I'm not too sure. Okay. All right. So if we did that, we'd have to figure out exactly where there are airlock should be and we could use just regular doors for the airlock i think i want to use the hangar doors mainly for size and convenience i'll leave that like so this would have been interesting actually way to do the the walkways instead of um the 30 degree angle we could have done a 45 for a steeper slope like i'm doing right there with the vent but this might be interesting so I guess we'd have more of them going each different way. And I guess I cleared that off my ball. So we'd have this going, so it'd be symmetrical basically all the way around. And that's kind of why I've only done, I haven't done any more of it. I kind of want to get this corner finalized, kind of like I've done everything else. And then we'll reproduce it, hopefully, eventually. Uh, I know it's not as good because you guys don't get to see the finished product. You get to see kind of, this is the plan. And then maybe we'll complete that plan in another 40 episodes. Um, so yeah, sorry. So yeah, we could do it that way. And then I don't know what else we'd add in here. I do want to have a bunch of LCDs somewhere. So probably up, at least somewhere you could see. So maybe if this goes like so. Alright, let's think some more. Alright, so if we had our hangar door, let's get our hangar door. Hangar doors, I should search. I also moved my mic. It might be in a better place to pick up my mouth, which is probably advantageous. Um, it might be also in a better position to pick up my keyboard and stuff and vibrations through my desk. So there may be that. Um, so yeah, we could do something like so. And then we'd have a second room, I guess. Doesn't have to be too big. This would just be for people. And I'm just making it three for the fun of it. And I'm out of steel plates. Where's the closest hatch? Probably not this way. Oh no, I still have. Was there something in the way? Why you no place? Hmm. Or does it not connect on that face? Aha. Uh -huh. I see. That makes sense, actually. My bad. Oh. So we could have that. So you'd come in here and basically be free. Free to face the life, that's ahead of ye. So there'd be a vent in here maybe to to um, vent the atmosphere or replenish it as needed, depending if we're going in or out, I guess. So we could have one of those kind of there, maybe, or in the floor or in the ceiling. It might be better in the ceiling, actually. Or in the floor for conveyor access. Not sure. And then we'd also have to have some vents in this room. And again, they could probably be maybe in the floor as well wherever probably not there because that's where the, <laughs> the rotor will be uh, maybe even under the floor here as long as it's um, accessible I guess for the, the block so if we did something like that uh, something like that right oxygen can fill in the area from underneath and we maybe have a f more vents than we actually need just for looks okay I'm okay with things so far we won't finalize this but we'll work with what we got and you guys let me know if you like it or if we should try something else because often you guys have way better ideas than I do or you lead to me getting a better idea than I had without you so yes very much appreciate your input oh I checked on the cargo ship we had parked over at the asteroids the mining hauler or whatever it was I was pretty sure it was right there by this group of asteroids. I went looking for it, it's it's not there. Um, I went down there and tried to visualize where I'd parked it again and I was pretty sure it was there, not there. Um, so I think what happened, it's not my fault, it's um, SE Toolbox's fault, yeah. I think I was cleaning the world, getting rid of floating objects and other cargo ships and I must have mistaken that one for an active cargo ship, so I deleted it. So unfortunately I lost that cargo ship we caught. And yeah. Okay, looks like I put four of these down. You guys probably noticed. It's okay. I would have noticed eventually. Maybe. Probably not. Okay. So I kind of like the idea of this so far. Obviously not here. Like, it's sticking out way too far now. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So if this goes here, I think it should be higher, maybe by another like 10 blocks. And then this, this could very well connect to whatever we have going on around here. I'm thinking I want to move this too, actually, the repair bay. I think we should move it back more. So that's pretty much all the way back here. Maybe as close to the crane as we can without interfering. That way we'll have that kind of like a runway down the middle where there's nothing. So I don't really like having this guy kind of offset to the center line of the ship. Especially if we have a walkway going over top of this. Even if it's higher, I guess it would be okay if the walkway ends up being at this level. That might be neat. Let's see something. Let's plan. So it looks like today is going to be a idea day. I am quickly trying to decipher where I should go for parts. Right here. Come here. Ooh. I always try to take chip stuff. Can't have chip stuff. Chip stuff is his. Get your own stuff. Right. Right. Oh, um, what else was I working on? So I want to start the cluster, thruster cluster, at least get the armor in place so then I can continue planning the hull of the ship. That's where Tugger 2 is going to come into play. And we'll build another Tugger 2 as well. So maybe we'll call it Tugger 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know what we'll call it, but it'll be another Tugger 2, basically. Maybe we'll just paint it different. We'll have one that's red, one that's blue, one that's green. That one's blue. So another one that's red. That kind of stuff. That might be interesting. So center line's there. Good. Good. Why do I keep getting rid of stuff? And then if there was a walkway up here, that might actually be kind of cool. Regardless of the position of this. I like that, actually. And then the roof. The roof um, of the whole ship could be somewhere up here, too. Not too far away. Um, basically, however high this gets up, we'll probably have a cockpit above there, maybe. Or like a control room. Or the bridge, I should say. <laughs> Let me turn off the blueprint. We also have to consider this guy, right? Because he raises up quite a bit. And someone had suggested leaving the ship open. So not enclosing the top part, but the top would be basically like a, a platform. And uh, I kind of want to do something like that, or give it a go. I kind of like the idea of this area here being open. So this guy would probably, its default position would probably be rotated to the left over here and down. So it'd be parked over here. We could have a wall basically separating this guy, and maybe we'll push it out further that way so that we have more room between the two. But we could essentially go up this is probably... Eh, no, it shouldn't take damage. So if this was the outer hull of the ship from this point of view, we could have this kind of be a wall. And this would be basically a landing platform for ships and stuff. And maybe we'd swap it out for heavy armor if that's the case. Or put a layer of heavy armor on top. So the hull would be kind of here. And then it would probably close in somehow over here as well. Not too sure how that could all work out. But I kind of like the idea of that. And I kind of wanted to have little runways at all the four different locations. So we have an entrance here at the bottom. But there's going to be an entrance kind of from here you could fly in. And there'd be a little bit of a platform that you could land on. I don't know what height. And then there'd be a big hangar door. So you could enter through that hangar door with medium-sized or small ships and what have you. And then go to the repair bay if you wanted to or... That kind of stuff. So yeah, those are some random thoughts. Um, I've been working on Crown Molar kind of, or actually I'm thinking of overhauling what I was originally going to do for Crown Molar. So yeah, I've been working at r overhauling it. Originally Crown Molar was, I'm just, I, you probably hate when I just float around and do nothing. Like I'm talking like I'm about to do something and I never do it. It's like, <gasps> I'm going to place this block. Anyway, I'm going to place the block. But yeah, I've been overhauling it and basically starting from scratch, also so I could incorporate the oxygen and stuff into it. And it also needs some updating with other stuff. So, um, let's see, should we do 45s? We could do like 30 and then 45. So essentially I'm trying to, I started to make a block per block almost replica. 
but a two by two version. So for every one small block, it was basically equivalent to four small blocks. And I was trying to use large thrusters instead of the small ones that Moeller has. These guys still seem to be bugged, like without nothing in front of them, without anything in front of them, I should say. Uh, they were exploding themselves, so I don't know why. So I don't know. I might have to disable thruster damage because I don't think it was a design problem because there was absolutely nothing obstructing the thruster to cause it to explode. And I remember there being problems with them before. So it seems like there still might be. Uh, do I have... Which ones are you? You guys are heavy. Why oh, so heavy? So I started to do that and I just got its basic kind of belly in shape or in, in place. And I kind of like where it's going, except for the whole exploding thing. But basically what will end up happening is it's going to be massive, pretty big. It's going to be a huge, or a fairly large, small ship. I um, wonder if I could... Let's do a little demonstration. So, what I was thinking, roughly... He's, he's stuck. So take, like, the point of ground molar, I should go into that. The point of Crown Molar is to be able to weld and basically be a utility ship that has a lot more stuff to do all this thing. All right, Torbing's great, but he's kind of tiny. And someone mentioned an, a neat way to expand his inventory, which we might try. But um, if I want to weld a lot of heavy armor, Torbing's not going to be able to do it. So I want something with a lot of welders that I can kind of weld that thruster cluster with, right, relatively easy, easily. Um, and that's where Crown Molar, I think, is going to come into play. What did I want? Okay, I want a large reactor. Dun, 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 I'm watching the clock. How much can we get done today before my head explodes? Large reactor, and then those large cargoes. So I'm giving this thing, I think, six large cargoes, maybe more, and also a large reactor. And it's going to be positioned kind of like this for its belly. At least this is what I got planned so far. And so if I do one of the... Oh, God. Why so crazy? <laughs> Don't explode. If I do that all the way around, I can then put these cargoes. This is another point where I'm getting issues with cargoes and their large ports. So I'm not going to worry too much about the ports, but I can position them in a better way than I'm probably going to do right now. So if I did that, that, and that, then I was going to have a layer of armor... Don't explode yet. I gotta finish the demonstration. And then, this is where the large thrusters would be. If I could rotate them properly. Come on, there it is. All the way down here. And then there's armor that would cover it, similar to molar, so it'd be a fin. So this was the only thing that was really covering it. And it's not really covering it, right? It's not in front of the, the nozzle but they were exploding, so I'm not too sure. But that would be an idea of how big Crown Molar would be. That would be its belly, right? And if we compare that to Molar, we can see his belly is quite small. So you take that, oh, hang on. We can do better. We can do better. If we take that and compare it to this guy over here, um, so gonna work. So gonna work. It's gonna be flawless. Can't see the projector though. Is it up there? Oh, pretty close. So this, what you're looking at, is going to be a representation of basically this back part, right? So this thruster represents one of these thrusters and its big belly of cargoes represents this one cargo. So I think that's what I would want to do and we'll make it quite long, so it'd be off to connect these again in a way that's usable. But something like that, and we could even go back one more if I can find the room or if it looks good. Otherwise we might stick with four. And you can see even in the middle I could potentially put ones, but I'll have to position the doors in ways that they all kind of hook up because of the stupid little <laughs> tiny hatches which I don't really need. And I'll see how much I need for reactors. We might have one or two large reactors down the middle. So I'm not going to make this so, like, space-condensed or efficient. I'm just going to try to do it however I think looks good <laughs> and functions the way I want. And then I was thinking we could add in oxygen tanks. So this guy would have a fairly big, assuming four is a lot, I don't know, 
could have like four of those guys and those would hook up into our cockpit which would be down the middle somewhere somewhere down here like the regular one so the cockpit would be somewhere here and then somewhere over here we're gonna have the arms come out and these ones will be detachable and that's where the welders and stuff will be and we'll basically create a big wall of welders similar to our wall of grinders here kind of like that and that is the plan so i'm going to see what i can how far i can get with all that off camera and we'll i'll update you guys and you guys can provide some input based off what i've shown you here because that's pretty much all i've gotten done i did get some of the armor placed and stuff to give a more visual look of what it could look like and then i tried flying it around and everything exploded and then I went, off oh, fine, I don't want to play anymore. And I cried. Not really. Just a little. Okay. So yeah. Good. Okay, so... Looking back at this, I did some 30 degree slopes. Or 60 degrees, depending where you're looking. I guess this is 60. This is 30. So this would be a 30 degree, I would say, right? Let's go with that. 30, 45, 245, and then... Hi, puppies. You're going to make a lot of noise. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay. Kyle. He's tap dancing. Tap dancing dog. Okay, back to business. So what do you think of that? Um, and we could have this tunnel thing actually kind of protruding out. Maybe not exactly how I have it. But it could kind of stick out of it, and it could be a little... This could be the entrance in. And it'd be basically like a sphere-ish. Although, as we can see, that's getting quite big, if I did it that big. What I would probably do is move this curve so it's further down. So maybe it starts here in respect to the room, not the base. So two blocks lower, and then starts to curve up. But we also don't need the room to be this tall but we could have it a bit of a dome ceiling or something. But it could also lead up to the bridge up in the middle. We could keep this this, the, this theme going with the three by three. So somewhere here, all is out of blocks. We should put like screens at a 45 degree angle. You can with rotors, shut up me. Okay. So we could do something like that for some LCDs down here, and then we'd have more stuff basically up on the bridge maybe. We'd have different little control rooms or different little control stations with um, cockpits or passenger seats and computer blocks and stuff like that. I was also wondering if we could do... I gotta say goodbye though. We could almost put like a chair on here. I don't know what that would look like. Um, come on, typing. So if we had one just like facing here, and then a computer within reach, so even something as silly as that, but done a lot better than I'm currently mocking up. But to give you a rough idea, why don't you position properly? Is the chair in your way? I think the chair's in the way. Fine. Like so. Terrible. Well, I'm doing a. I'm. Oh god. I'm doing a. Fa oh, fantastic job of demonstrating my idea right now. Probably should represent how awesome of an idea it is by the success of me showing it. So I should just stop. Stop everything. Stop it. You're still doing it. Something like that. And it would look kind of like you could jump on here, I guess. Oh, I also want that thing to be rotating. Um. So let's do that right now. Rotor. We will give you a velocity of 0 0.01. And you velocity of negative 0 0.01. And we will turn them on. Give some braking. And they don't seem to be working. You not attached? Interesting. Oh, this thing's still trying to attach to. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that clock's still running. Uh, one of these might not be in. But yeah, I'd like that thing to rotate, which I'm doing a poor job demonstrating. 
And then we could have these things kind of hanging off it, if it would look cool. I don't know. A thought. Because I'm, I'm looking at the room now, and there's not much room for anything else. If we have one of these in each corner, this, we could possibly have it branch out this way. That might be an idea. So we could take the walkway. Which, nothing's on my bar anymore. Good job, me. We could take the walkway and bring it over here. Uh, maybe the same distance. So that's one block. One block. Yeah, we could wrap around the room. And then we could put the little control stations around the edge. And then a lot of this would be glass, I think. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll leave it like that. So, half the dome will be the control room, I guess. The other half will be leading up to the bridge and stuff. And we'll raise this all up another ten blocks or so, or to kind of meet up with that level. Alright, well, I'll leave it here, guys. It's under 40 minutes, but still over 30. I win, maybe. See you next time. Which won't be for another week or so, or two, maybe. Sorry. Sorry. I'll get it as soon as I can. <laughs>